Hey guys, welcome to Amazingly Enough. My name is Fahim and a lot has changed in the past few days. You can clearly see the level of frustration that I've crossed. Uh, but nevertheless, I'm really, really excited for you guys today because today we are going to cover another course which is ITBA, short for Information Technology Business Analysis. It is one of the courses in Conestoga where you will find a lot of population of Indians and uh, the reason for that is there is a demand for uh, such uh, courses in the job market. Uh, and one of my very good friends, Juveria, she recently uh, graduated from Conestoga College pursuing the same course and she was able to get a field job uh, as a reporting analyst. So today we have invited her to the channel. I have drafted some questions which I asked myself before coming to Canada, so I guess it's going to help you guys as well but if you have any further questions just leave them in the comments below and we will ask Juveria about it and we will try to help you as much as we can so without any further ado let's get right into this and start asking your questions hey guys uh, this is Juveria Juveria welcome to the channel uh, this is my friend I was talking about and uh, today Juvelia is going to enlighten us on a lot of things. So Juvelia, first come first, uh, I was already telling my viewers about the job that you have received. So just fill in us, uh, what is the job about and how were you able to bag it? So I started my last episode in the month of uh, September and I started my job hunting by uh, say uh, mid-October and November. And uh, finally, by uh, mid-December, I uh, managed to get myself a job as a reporting analyst. And believe me, it took me hundreds of applications before I finally uh, managed to get this job. So this entire process of job hunting was completely overwhelming and it required immense amount of patience. So uh, to those people who are still struggling to uh, get a job, I would suggest uh, being patient and uh, just being positive is something that uh, will help you in the long run to get yourself a job. Perfect. And uh, let's talk about your uh, experience of uh, pursuing ITBA in Conestoga. How was it? Oh, um, my experience pursuing ITBA, particularly in Conestoga, has been amazing. And uh, I believe the reason behind this is the way uh, Courses have been designed uh, for ITBA in Conestoga drastically reduces uh, the gap that exists between your academics and uh, the industry requirements. Especially uh, the subjects that you have in ITBA, uh, like you have uh, business process analysis, SQL, uh, requirement modeling and information gathering, uh, you then have uh, UI, UX. Now these are the topics or other the skills that uh, any BA ought to have. So pursuing ITBA uh, shaped me in a better way to finally uh, come out as a business analyst in a professional environment. Okay, perfect. And uh, talking about the subjects, how many subjects did you have uh, in your entire course and what was the duration of each subject? Uh, overall, we had uh, 15 to 16 subjects. Uh, the course was for uh, 16 months and each semester it was divided into four semesters, each semester being four months long and uh, the good thing about uh, ITB and Conestoga was that uh, uh, you had four subjects per semester and each semester used to be divided in first half and second half. First half for two months and second half again for two months and instead of uh, studying all four subjects in one go, we studied two subjects in the first two months and the next two subjects in the next two months. So this le leaves us with the more time to concentrate particularly in those two subjects and we had considerably less amount of pressure, lesser uh, number of assignments because we were just concentrating on two subjects at a time. So I believe this really helped us in a long way. That is amazing. That is one good thing about IT courses we have here. And uh, one question that I have been asking everybody. So since ITBA, uh, it's more of a technical course. Can a non-technical person think about pursuing it? Or what do you recommend? Should they go for it or not? Oh, I don't think uh, that uh, you being from a non-tech background should deter you from pursuing ITBA. And I believe uh, 
the good thing about uh, pursuing ITBA is whatever is being taught to you, it all starts from basics and then it gradually uh, goes on to the advanced uh, version of the similar topic. Uh, so I believe uh, even if you are from say commerce background or arts background, it wouldn't be a problem as long as you possess uh, the basic technical skills like uh, you have your uh, Excel or advanced Excel and how good you are with uh, data analysis, data mining. If you are good in these uh, skills and topics, then I'm sure uh, ITBA would be uh, pretty easy. That's good. That's good for the viewers. and. Uh what about the structuring of assignments? How are your assignments designed? Were they more towards the practical side or more towards the report writing and stuff? Uh, assignments were a mix of both the reports as well as um, practical. It all actually depends on the subject of the course that uh, you are working on. Uh, if there are subjects like um, UI UX, then uh, there will be a lot of um, diagram creation using different tools like Visio, uh, be it uh, creating a use case diagram or a flowchart. However, when it comes to subjects like uh, communication for business systems, uh, this would be completely based on your uh, communication skills and your theoretical knowledge of that subject where you know you are expected to uh, come up with uh, report writing and making uh, various uh, documents that uh, a business analyst should know about. So I think it's a comp it's a mix of both uh, theoretical as well as uh, practical knowledge that will help you in your assignments. Makes sense. And uh, one, one more question that I would li like to ask you since we know as international students we work part time as well. So how are you able to juggle between the two like your part time uh, job as well as the course how, how easy was it? The struggling between your part-time job and your studies was in itself a big <laughs> task but I suggest one thing that you should never I repeat never let your uh, part-time job affect your studies in any way and the key to nail this is uh, just being in constant touch with your uh, readings and uh, completing or starting with your assignments very much uh, well before time and not keep it for the nth hour and uh, I'd say that if uh, you are doing your regular readings it will help you in completing your assignments very efficiently so yeah okay so I think we are almost done here I just want to ask you a last question uh, now since you have already got the job uh, what were the other future prospects that we, you were looking for while you uh, you know thought about pursuing ITBA and if there is any advice that you would like to give uh, future students regarding how to pursue this course or how to fetch a job, what would it be? When it comes to my case, I had already worked as a data analyst uh, for three long years in India. However, at the com at the completion of ITBA, you can uh, you, you know expect yourself to get placed. Uh, uh, as a business analyst or a data analyst if you are very uh, efficient with your uh, technical knowledge and you can also grab a job as uh, an information consultant for that matter and the job prospects are immense in Canada here after um, completing ITPA you can you know start looking for jobs in various sectors like uh, banking sector uh, since this is a particular sector where uh, which is very much in boom in Canada but apart from banking domain, you can also look for uh, uh, other domains like uh, insurance or be it uh, health sector that will help you to get yourself a job as a BA. So basically every company that deals with data, oh, yes. you can find your job there. Yeah. Uh, that was amazing, uh, Juveri. I think that these are all the questions that I had and uh, they will definitely help our viewers. Uh, thank you so much for coming here and investing your time over here. And, uh, that would be all from us. Thank you for calling me. Uh, yeah. And uh, so that's all guys. Uh, that was all the questions that I think you would require. If there are any other questions that you want me to ask Juveria, just post them in the comments below and uh, she'll most probably Definitely. get back to you. Uh, until then, uh, keep liking the video, share it and subscribe to our channel. Uh, we'll see you with another video. Until then, bye-bye.